everyone and welcome once again to another edition of the Red Brennan Williams Real Estate Show. I'm Shannon Deskins along with Jennifer Brown Day and I think we're going to go ahead and start this one right off the bat by saying it is definitely allergy season and you're going to know that when she opens her mouth. It's not going to be good today. <laughs> we're just going to do the best that we can and, <laughs> and go from there. And I think you're not alone in a lot of people are dealing with the exact same thing. I think what I don't know if it's ragweed. I've seen the goldenrod is blooming. So something out there has got a lot of people uh, worrying about the coughing and the voice and all that stuff. These seasons change and it, it gets us all. It really does. So I'm going to try to do more, most of the talking today. Um, but the first two listings that we're going to talk about are actually your listings. And both of those are brand new listings. So let's start out with the one um, that's just off of 119. This one is located at Bent Branch. And if you're traveling down 119 going towards South Williamson, you're actually going to take that Mita exit, come back on Bent Branch just a little bit, and this is going to be not 500 feet from that exit to your left. So a lot of people are going to be familiar with, instead of saying 119, if you're traveling 23 and you mm -hmm. get into Pikeville, the Walmart intersection, as a lot of people know that, that's Buckley's Creek. Mm -hmm. So you'll turn up Buckley's Creek and then go on. That's the 9.7 miles. And yes. you'll see the Mita exit. When you look to the left, there's the driveway has a nice brick entrance to it. Okay. There's multiple houses right here, and this is going to be the one up on the hill. All right. Now this is a split foyer, which a lot of people like when you come in. I mean, you've got your one living area on one side, and then you go up and down on, on one side, hence the split level. It's a split foyer. When you walk in the door, you go up or down. But I mm -hmm. will be honest, most people are not going to consider it a split foyer because very few people are actually going to use that front door. Um, the way that the house is set up, a lot of your parking is on the side and the back. And okay. there's a really nice deck on the backyard. So you actually are going to enter most of the time. I think most of your guests would actually come into the main level of the house next to the kitchen so they wouldn't have to deal with the stairs. And there's actually a ramp on the back of the house. So this house is also very accessible. And then on that main level, living room, dining area, kitchen, three bedrooms, one and a half bathrooms. Your master does have the uh, half bath attached. Uh -huh. And then in the basement, this has about 900 finished square feet in the basement. This area could be, that's the room with the fireplace that you can see on the pictures. Could be a really nice family room. It also has been used before for a fourth bedroom. It's got a walk-in closet down there and a three-fourths bathroom. So it wow. could be a second master if you wanted it to be. It could be a fourth bedroom or it could be a really nice family room, game room area. So this is one of those homes that even though you've, you've got these certain bedrooms and bathrooms, you can still reconfigure mm -hmm. how many of one. I mean, you can do a home office or you can make that fourth bedroom or a den or a movie room or anything. So it's nice when you've got these that you can kind of customize. It is, exactly. And again, we have to kind of separate it when we do our descriptions, but total, this could be a four bedroom, two and a half bath. So that 900 square feet below grade is fully uh, livable. Mm -hmm. All right, now this one is, is listed at a great price, 179000 That, again, is a brand new listing. Now, Jennifer, that's your listing. It is. So let's give that Pikeville office number. Okay, that number is 606-437-2333. All right, and when you call her, make sure you reference the number 109085. That will bring that right up. She can get that uh, showing schedule. Sweet. Okay, then now the next one is another new listing that you have mm -hmm. also uh, but this one's in Floyd County. It's in Floyd County. If you're familiar with the Dana area, this is located on Lynn Hollow. If you're not, go across the Herald Bridge and then you're going to take almost an immediate ride after the bridge onto 2030, like you're going towards Dana, mm -hmm. Banner, that direction. And you're going to go about four miles to Hunts Fork and then Lynn Hollow is a turn off of Hunts Fork. This one sits up on a hill um, off of Lynn Hollow. You can tell from that main picture, the view is mm -hmm. gorgeous. There's a deck. You have enough room to put an above ground pool on your deck if you oh, wanted wow. to with the deck that's around this house. And a lot of people do when they do their above ground pools, they'll build the deck around it. So this one, the deck came first. <laughs> Just cut your hole in your deck, put the pool in it, and you're ready to go. It is a very nice size deck. So no matter what your outdoor activity, if you just like to sit outside, if it, whatever you want to do, you have plenty of room out there. Wow. Now this one is actually a double wide. Uh-huh. 
Um, and it's a large and a newer double wide. It is. This is a 2013 double wide and it is a total of about 1650 square feet. But the thing that's going to shock you, this one has five bedrooms. Yeah, I had to make sure it wasn't a typo, but the way you said it, you've still got your master bedroom separated from the rest of your bedrooms mm -hmm. too. So you've got one bedroom on one side of the home and the other five on the other, um, but you've got a bathroom on each end. Yes, your master has its own private bathroom with a, a walk-in closet, double sink, really nice bathroom. And then on the other side of the house, you have the other four bedrooms, plus another large bathroom, again, a double sink, double vanity on that side to uh, work with those four bedrooms on the other end of the house. So this one sounds like, you know, a great use of space and it's, it's not very often you see a double wide that you can say has that many bedrooms and can accommodate that many people. This sounds like one of those people really need to see. Um, this is your listing also. We gave the phone number for the Pikeville office a minute ago. Let's give that email address. Okay, the email is jbrown at rbnw.com. All right, now the price on this one, 89000 mm -hmm. So everything we just told you for that price, you're going to want to give it Jennifer a call or an email. Hopefully this won't last long on the market. That's our hope. Now let's move on to a couple listings that are actually Kathy Browns out of the Paintsville office. This one is Hager Hill. Yes, and these, the next two that we've got are actually on the same street. So okay. we can kind of give our location for both listings if that's okay. But they're both located on DeLong Road at Hager Hill, which is Johnson County. Mm -hmm. If you're familiar with old US 23, which is the road between Prestonsburg and uh, Paintsville, now Route 321. That's the one where the Combs Airport. Um, Absolutely. Uh, this is the actual turn to go over to where the old uh, American Standard plant mm -hmm. used to be. Across the bridge, across the tracks to an intersection, and you're going to follow that to DeLong Road on your left. This next one that we're doing is the last house on DeLong Road. All right, so if someone's in the market, these, these two houses that we're going to kind of group together are only $10,000 apart in their price. So more than likely, it's going to be in the same price range for somebody in that market. So this was actually um, in an older home, but it's sitting on 28 acres. Now that is something you don't see very often, especially in a neighborhood. It's not, and this is going to be 28 acres. You and I both know when you go down towards Johnson County, your acreage actually becomes a little bit more usable than we yes. have here in Pike County. So there's a good chance that you're actually going to have some acreage and some yard space to work with here. A lot of times you can clear that land. A lot of times there's usable timber that can actually make you a little bit of money on these properties. Not to say this desert doesn't have that, but that's the option sometimes. And, and a lot of times you get those trees cleared and you're like, wow that's usable space. Um, so that's something definitely to look at if you schedule a showing for this home. Now this one is still, it's got three bedrooms and one bathroom. The home was built in 1920, but it looks like it's been taken care of. It does, and the great thing about this one is you also on that picture you can tell that you've got that uh, carport off the back mm -hmm. that they're using more as like a covered patio. So you have a lot of usability with that as well. Some more outdoor living space. Mm -hmm. And that is so popular. Anytime you turn on HGTV or any of those channels, outdoor living spaces are, are very popular for people to redo. Absolutely. Now staying on, well, let's go back on that one really quickly. Let's just tell you the price on that one is ninety nine nine. Um, so. If, if you're in the market around a hundred thousand, maybe under a hundred thousand, uh, that the next these two are definitely for you. Now this next listing is eighty nine nine, which is ten thousand dollars less, um, but it's on the same road. Now this one is actually a double wide home. It is. This is a two thousand two Fleetwood Stonebridge manufactured home. So, but it is, like I said, a 2002 model. So you're only about a 15 year old double wide. Right, and this one's got three bedrooms and three full baths. So this one can accommodate uh, the family very easy. Absolutely, and the thing that really struck me on this one, you're close to 1,900 square feet in this home. And that is a very large double wide. So mm -hmm. you know that those three bedrooms are gonna be roomy bedrooms. Um, and they're not going to be very, really small. So you're going to have a lot of great living space in this. Absolutely. And this is one, it is on a permanent block foundation. You can see that in the picture that's scrolling. So um, a lot of your loans and that kind of stuff, hopefully that part of it is taken care of. Well, that makes it a whole lot easier um, when you can tell your lender that. Mm -hmm. And that may be something that if they want to go look at it, go ahead and, 
and get that started. If they think that's one to look at, let their lenders know, hey, here's what I'm going to look at. Absolutely. Okay. Now that one I said 89.9, both of those on DeLong Road on Hager Hill, both of those are Kathy Brown's listings out of the Paintsville office. So this one's going to be easy. Let's give the Paintsville office, that'll take care of both those listings. Okay, that's 606-789-8119. Okay, now another one that Kathy Brown has, and this is one we're actually going to end the show on today, is one we featured before, mm -hmm. but I love this home. It's worth talking about again. This one is downtown Paintsville. Downtown Paintsville, and this is Walnut Avenue. So if you're familiar with Paintsville at all, this is what we would consider the Dairy Queen side of town. So okay. you're on that side of the river, um, but you're over close to where uh, St. Michael's Catholic Church is, where uh, Citizens Bank is, the mm -hmm. big bank. You're on that neighborhood on that side of the river. All right, and a lot of people don't even realize this neighborhood is back there. Um, a lot of people are gonna remember where the old bowling alley that burned mm -hmm. is, it's back there. It's worth taking a drive through this area just to see a lot of the homes because this is one of the more popular neighborhoods in Paintsville. It is. It's a really popular neighborhood. It's an older neighborhood with some new construction that's going on in it, but it is a very popular neighborhood, one that's known and has been known for family friendly. All right, and you can see in this one, before we even get to the inside, there's a huge backyard. Um, so that's going to be, you talk about family friendly, you're going to be able to play, have your pets, your kids or whatever in your backyard. Plus the neighborhood, the way it's laid out, it's all flat. People get out and walk, they ride, they push their strollers, they walk their dogs. Um, great place for any kind of outdoor activities. But this one's great on the inside as well. It is, and it's got so much curb appeal. Just starting from the front door, you've got that cottage style house, which is really popular these days. Um, but you've got a living room, a large family room. Um, this house is full of windows. It's a, a lot of light and that kind of stuff. And then, of course, you've got the fireplaces and that kind of stuff, which goes along with the charm of this style of home. Right, and it looks like, it, you know, the kitchen, everything is, is, has been updated. You can tell by the paint in that one living room shot. Um, those are all more of a modern look that you see uh, in recent years. Absolutely, and you do have a uh, first floor master bedroom and bathroom, mm -hmm. and then you've got second floor, the other bedrooms and bathrooms are up there. Wow, so this one is definitely one to see on the inside and the outside, um, and with this time of year, it's getting to where the leaves are going to start changing. Mm -hmm. All of, all, and we'll probably talk about curb appeal in the next couple of shows. It's, you know, it's time that people are going to get out in the fall, they're going to want to see the leaves, the foliage and they're going to want to do drive-bys. This one's going to be a great view from the outside. Absolutely, it really will be. Okay, now this one as we said is Kathy Brown's listing out of the Paintsville office. We gave that Paintsville office just a moment ago, but let's give Kathy's email address. Her email is cbrown at rbnw.com. All right, now hopefully we've given you five listings um, throughout Pike, Floyd, and Johnson County that you may want to look at. But always remember if, if there's something you've not seen or you want to get a better look, sometimes there's more pictures online than what we're allowed or we can show you on the show. You can always go to the website and of course that is rbandw.com. Now it's time for me to step out and let you attempt to do your real estate minute. Are you considering selling your home or property but don't know where to start? If you have a realtor you want to work with, call him or her to do a CMA or comparative market analysis on your property. If you don't have a realtor, I recommend meeting with a couple to find someone you are comfortable with using for this important decision. Your realtor can assist you with pricing, inform you on the current market trends, and share ideas on how to improve your property to appeal to buyers. The agents of Ray Brown & Williams would appreciate the opportunity to meet with you about your future listing. Thank you for joining us today and we'll see you again soon.